Installation tasks are the most common task type in the AssemblyWorks system. These tasks give the author the ability to present the user with data in a myriad of ways. The installation task can simply show information or text, as in this FOD check. It can show color-coded labels, like this nut plate installation. It can be sorted automatically, like this fastener installation task. It can be sequenced in a precise order, like this torque task. The installation task can even display uninstalled items in 3D, like this bracket. Navigation can be performed by voice commands or through the AssemblyWorks operator interface. There are no limitations to the methods of presenting data to the technician. Show all tasks are useful for displaying information that is easily parsed by the user in a single step. Examples of this are using the projection system as a flashlight for critical FOD checks, illuminating areas that need to be cleaned, or displaying routing paths for wire harnesses. The show all task is also useful for displaying visual installation labels when shape, size, border, orientation, or color can all have significance. In this nut plate task, the label on the part shows which nut plate part number is represented by each color. The border color tells whether the nut plate is in a sealant area and the orientation shows exactly how to position each nut plate. All of this is communicated with a single, simple step that leaves no room for error. Installation task's most powerful feature may be dynamic sorting. The author selects the properties that should be available to the technician and which properties are selected by default. When the sorted installation task is loaded, the technician is presented with a list that shows each unique grouping of the selected default properties. In this case, part number and grip length have been selected. Each line item shows the part number, grip length, and quantity for the step in the process. This view is the kit list for the task and may be printed or saved as a file and distributed. On the part, a dynamic text label shows an identical value to the line item selected in the AssemblyWorks operator interface. As the technician steps through the process, the dynamic text label updates to match the item selected. Here, the author has provided a bulkhead option to the technician, which, when selected, allows the user to install items one bulkhead at a time. Note that the dynamic label has also updated to match the selection. This gives the technician a tool customized to their optimal installation approach. Sequenced tasks provide the ability to present a technician with a predefined order of operations where only one step in the process is illuminated at a time. This is useful for tasks like torquing fasteners, where the order and location must be fully controlled. Dynamic install labels are available to present any additional information that may be required at each step. In any installation task, the user has the ability to change several options at any time. The first option is Symbol Properties. This allows the user to change the symbol from the author default to another shape, like circle to square, or another color, like yellow to blue. This is helpful for situations where the shape is not clearly visible or if the colors are too similar. The user may also change the mode. There are three modes, Show All, Sorted, and Sequenced. Changing between these provides helpful tools, like changing to a Show All at the end of a sorted task to verify all locations were installed, or switching to a Sequenced mode to get the exact location ID of a problem area that needs adjusting. While in Sorted mode, the user may also change the attributes from the Attributes dropdown to alter the sort to the desired method. After any changes are made, the technician can always press the default button to return to the predefined options established by the author.